seconds and the game is starting. Ah. So mirror spots and sieves from last game. Obviously Mayans over here with Sebdos. Um on his team. We have Cena over here with uh Japanese and MBL over here with Tudens. Against Goths. Yes. On Spain we have Persians and on England we have Britons. So they'll probably try for the same strategies. Uh Sebdos most likely gonna dock over here. Um, just like Rock did last game. We have Rock yes. over here saying, I dock near you and try to dock block. So he's going to make dock block is when you make docks on either side of this rock uh, to stop people from going through. And he's actually Persian. So dock blocking with Persians is very, very nice. Um, He's going to stop them going through, and those Persian docks have like 3,600 HP. It's going to be very, very tough to get past. Finally, the first game he played, he made his TC in a weird location, but this time he made it in a very nice one. Uh, he has access to both the wood and the gold there. Adrift, laying down his TC as well. Same with Sebdos. Sebdos going for the TC near the deer again. Cena already taking the first board. Benefit of Japanese, you get your TC up way faster because your lumber camp costs 50 less wood. MBL taking his first boar now. Boars are a bit tricky with fast speed. I've seen MBL lose a few villagers. So Striker probably going to go on C. Uh, last game, MBL was in the same position and did not go on C, which I think was a mistake. Um, but he's going to go on C and try and fight Cena and MBL over here. MBL most likely going to try and boom um, as students and maybe, maybe go Knights. We'll see. Taking a second boar now. <laughs> don't love that decision especially with 170 food still on the first one he seems MBL really doesn't like docks or fishing ships seems to like boars and deer a lot better than that and he's a bit slower because of it uh, than any of the other players Sebdo is actually docking on this side interesting decision um to go over here. He also sending a villager around this way. Checking to see if there's a sneak villager from Adrift. He did make a house over here though. So Adrift is going to think that's really sneaky. He made a house over here. Adrift came over with his sheep to scout. Sees the house and he's probably going to assume that there's docks over here as well. But it doesn't really matter to him. Because he's docking pawns. So Sebdos can make all the navy he wants. Not going to be able to reach him. Green docking below here. They're probably both going to go on sea. If they can wipe these two. Wipe their fishing ships early. That'd be very nice for them. We'll see how well they manage to do that. Hi, Smarthy. Welcome back. Oh yeah, I don't have the score with uh, while I'm in game. The score is two to one for MBL's team. <clears throat> so where is Adrift gonna put his second dock? Is it gonna go in the ponds as well? He's going to have to drop it fairly soon. Yeah, he has 200 wood already saved up. And he's walling that villager in this side. 
Is he going to send it into Sebdos's base? No, he's, that was a mistake. He's going to delete. 325 wood now for him. That's a mistake. He should have laid down another dock. This is very strange from him. It's a really, really sloppy Dark Age. Um, the fact he doesn't have a second dock already. And Rock already going for the Persian dock block. This is what I mean. <clears throat> Once he gets those up, those are going to be very, very tough uh, for Sebdos to take down. Assuming Sebdos goes Navy and comes around here. Um, but the thing about a dog block is you have to win C on this side because there's nowhere for you to run. So they're banking on the fact they're going to win it on this side. Locked now with 600 wood. Just now going with a second villager. He's saying, where is my other boar? Well, your other boar is right there. Can you not see it? What a sloppy dark age for him. He's got 300 food, 675 wood. Just crazy. Just now seeing that other boar. Oh, man. This is a nightmare for him. And he's only got one dock now. And you can only make six fishing ships in this area before they become un unproductive. Does have a lot of sheep though. It looks like he stole sheep from everyone on the freaking map because he's explored a ton. On this side, Rock just now coming over to place the second dock. Um, Teal's already up to feudal age, so he's going to start producing galleys. He has Japanese, so that's very nice for him. Nice little food bonus from those fishing yes. ships there. Um, Striker. Yes. Is going yes. galleys from all three docks. And I think Rock will join him. MBL. Few and active fishing ships here. Two fishing ships not doing anything. Maybe not the greatest. Um, he's got six actually fishing. Four villagers on the deer. And sending some villagers forward. So he's going to try and go for stables again. Might not be able to get through. Hope he pays attention. Uh, because Cena is actually walling this area. When am I getting my own Discord? I have my own Discord. It's called Dave's Place. No food allowed. Yes. So Striker coming over now. Cena did manage to pick off two or three fishing ships. Um, but now Rock is out with some navy. So he's got four galleys, and Stryker has five galleys as well. Cena on the way to Castle Age. Those Japanese fishing ships really, really did give a bonus to him. Already on the way to Castle Age. Sebdos also on the way to Castle Age. I guess he knew that Red didn't dock anywhere up top, so he's just going fast castle. And he's might be thinking about fire ships. If he was thinking about war galleys, he'd probably be producing them already. Yep, war galleys. Okay. Oh, I should have known. I see the fletching there. Fletching is coming in for him. So this was a pause. Hopefully, it'll resume shortly. What's a drift looking like? A drift is has a ton of resources, a ton of resources. Just waiting for that stable to come down. He's gonna go knights. However, MBL, aka Bye Bye Man, the Bye Bye Man, is already through with two villagers. So Rock's gonna have to be careful. I don't know what it is about MBL wanting to kill Rock. Like it seems like it's a theme. There's two games already in this series where MBL has completely wiped Rock. And it might happen again. I do not like that stable, man. You might get your units trapped in this little area here. He's created a courtyard for his horses to be useless.
two fishing shits, still not doing anything. Yes. <laughs> Adrift finally up to Castle Age. Uh, MBL is up to Castle Age as well. I think Adrift is going to drop a dock here and maybe go fire ships to help them out. Which is very nice. Oh, he's going to drop three houses there. Okay. Seems good. Sebdos now coming over, making sure there's no docks on this side. Rock has walled up partially. Partially stone walled here. I hope he sees those villagers. I would hate to see Rock die and get wiped in another game by MBL. It'd be very demoralizing for him. And we're going to have to wait for another pause. Ridiculous amount of pausing going on here. Meanwhile, on the sea battle, we have purple and green just waiting around. If a drift goes for some docks and makes fire ships, they could win this quite easily. And they could also take out MBL's fish before he really gets his land army going. He has made two scouts again, so I hope Rock can wall here. And I hope he can actually see these units in the fog of war. No, he cannot. So weird seeing Dave be a professional caster. I know. I know. Ah, oh, come on, boys. Sebdos went C before dropping a town center. He's finally getting a second one up now. Uh, Adrift dropping a siege workshop. So he's going to try and punch through here. Don't like that. Should have gone fires. Fire is now auto-hosting me. Man, ever since I became part of this Voobly team thing on Twitch, I get so many auto-hosts. I think I have, like, that Arabic guy. I have Bloody Neval. I have Fire hosting me now. So Castle Age coming in from Striker. Uh, Castle Age already in from Cena. So they're going to have problems here taking care of these war galleys. Theoretically, they could micro these down. I think they have enough, but they're losing too many right now. This is going to be trouble. Locked, trying to get in here. More rams, uh, trying to batter down that wall. Needs a mangonel to prevent them from walling right behind yes. that. God damn, so many pauses. Mangano, 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 Mangano. Locked. Mangano. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's making another ram. No. <laughs> he's just going to wall right behind. Man, you should know this is coming. He's just going to wall right behind there. Make a Mangano. Oh, boy. Purple now up to a castle age. Going to get War Galley. Green will follow soon after. Um, Cena now moving into fire ships to help support that. Locked finally making fire ships out here. Still not making a Maganel to prevent the walling on the other side. Two TCs up from him now. How many from Sebdos? We have two TCs as well. Sebdos's navy is kind of being useless around here. Not really doing too much. Um, Rock has actually walled completely to prevent MBL from doing anything with those villagers. Um, MBL does have a siege workshop there. Probably went Mangonels. 
We shall see. Yes, he has two Mangonels already. I feel like Rock needs a Siege Workshop of his own to, to defeat this. Already six Knights coming out too, and two Scouts. Um, and another Siege Workshop, so it's going to be really, really tough. Really tough for Rock to fight. Cena getting Fortified Wall to really stop this push uh, from Locked from Adrift. And he's also fighting on sea, and I think he's actually going to win on sea. He's using his fishing ships as meat. Maybe that was unintentional, but the Japanese fishing ships do provide quite a good meat shield um, for these war galleys. And Striker's actually going to have to go back here. Love to see them come around with a few ships and try and yes. pick off... Uh, pick off yellow's fish and rock is in trouble oh my god is this gonna be another game of rock getting completely wiped he's gonna have to panic wall more than three villagers man you need more than three villagers to panic wall that like just panic wall the shit out of it panic wall it dude oh he's running why don't you just panic wall it's too late now not enough panic And the knights are in. He did manage to wall around there. Walling this side now. But those mangonels are going to do work. He's lucky he is Persian, so the TCs have a bit more HP. He's dropping another TC. So he's got four TCs. Almost all of them within range of these mangonels. And I think he's going to get wiped again. Meanwhile, on the other side, Cena picking a fight he really probably shouldn't have. Um... Coming in here against Striker. Locke sitting at 42 villagers, still having problems with this fortified wall. But now he's coming over here. Gonna take out some of the monks uh, from MBL, try and help his teammate. If he can take out those mangonels, that'd be very, very nice. I'm not sure he can. He's trying to target them. Or he's trying to run right through. We shall never know. And Sebdos is on the way to Imperial Age. So Sebdos, seeing that there was no navy, made a bunch more fish. And that gave him the Fudiko to go up to Imp. Um, has a lot on gold. None on stone. So I don't think he's going to go for Plume Archers. I think he's going to go for uh, maybe a landing. Maybe drop some Siege Workshops and get some Rams and Eagles into Red's base. We'll see. Also battered through the dock on the other side, so that's very important. He can now, they can now squeeze these players from two sides, uh, him and Cena. And Cena still has a respectable amount of uh, war galleys and still has his fish. It'd be very nice for him. Meanwhile, MBL saying green is dead. I tend to agree. He keeps relocating uh, with more and more TCs. But he's in some serious trouble right now. He is walling off though, so it's going to take time for MBL to come get him. If he can finish the second layer of wall here. Can he finish the second layer of wall? Can he finish the second layer of wall? Well, I got it started. Other side. Looks like Red actually got in here. He came around the top, he got in here, killed a few villagers from MBL. And by a few, I mean a lot, judging by the bodies. He's still killing villagers here. MBL is at 48 villagers, so not the greatest. 50 now. Um, 68 now from Striker, but look at Sebdos' vil count. 83, and he's in Imperial Age. So it's going to be really, really tough to stop Sebdos. Once he gets rolling here with whatever plan he has. He's spreading out his uh, galleons around the map. Really like that. Uh, prevent them from docking and trying to counter his sea. Also sending galleons around this side. Uh, while Cena presses from this side. I think Striker is going to be fine. Has enough ships. Albeit he doesn't have the same upgrades. But it looks like he'll be okay. MBL now transitioning into Spearman just to get rid of these knights. Just going to clear that up. 
Locked, finally through. He's finally through. He's through. With the battering rams, four layers of fortified walls. Oh no. So yeah, there's a bit of a landing going on here from Sebdos. Five barracks coming up. Two siege workshops. Elite Eagle Warrior coming in. Forging coming in right now. If I was a drift, it's going to be really hard for a drift to fight this. I mean, he's not even on the way to Imperial. He only has 67 villagers. The only way he can survive here is if he walls like 15 layers and goes fortified wall right away. But I don't see him doing that. He's actually going archers, going crossbows. Not a unit you see very often in Europe since they can't really, there's not really much raiding potential and they can't really make a lot of damage really quickly. So I don't necessarily agree with that. Cena still has a ton of navy. Striker's still fighting. Sebdos over on this side. About to get Galleon as well. So this is trouble. Like, Adrift will probably get wiped off the map in under... By the time this timer hits 43... I'd say a drift is probably his main base is probably pretty wiped. Unless he pulls off something miraculous. Yeah, these walls are about to go down, and there is a ton of eagles waiting to come in. Siege Ram now from Sebdos. Let's see. Is he pumping from all these barracks? No, he has the resources, he's just not doing it yet. He is making more siege rams though. And the first TC is already down. Villagers now going down. Second TC will almost be down in a second. I wonder what Sebdos is waiting for. Look at his resources. It's crazy. So many villagers now going down from Adrift. Smurthy. What do I think of prostitution? I mean, everyone's got bills to pay, right? Adrift. In big trouble. Gonna lose this wall really quickly. That siege workshop. Gonna lose these TCs does have a base up here. A lot of archer ranges. He's dropped way too many production buildings. Way, way too many production buildings. Lost a bunch of crossbows over here trying to raid MBL's eco. As you can see, MBL's eco is way better than uh, Adrift's. 86 villagers for him, 33 for Adrift. On the sea battle, we have Cena coming in flanking uh, from two sides. Striker. I think Striker has more ships here, but I think Cena has better positioning and he's able to reinforce from his docks. But still, looks like Striker's gonna take this fight. Rock has 71 villagers now, so he managed to survive uh, the push from MBL, partially thanks to a drift hitting uh, MBL's economy. And Adrift is now getting boned, officially, from two sides. Knights on one side, and what's the timer at? 43. Oh, there's nothing left. There's nothing left, that was correct. Now the ram's coming up this way from Sebdos. Gonna come around here, kill all of Adrift's base up at the top. Um, finally, 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 Striker has gained control of the water. But is it on a temporary basis? We see Cena has already moved his fish from those docks over to these docks here. So he's still getting the food production. And he's still making ships. And I think he's going to hold on long enough for his allies to do the damage here. Yeah, blue coming around this side. Gonna probably send up a few up around the top there, yeah. And if a drift doesn't wall, he's might be defeated <laughs> if he's not careful. 
It does have this dock down here, so maybe you won't be defeated. Ram's coming in as well. Quick wall with the gates. Didn't work. And the Eagles are into his eco. Is he going to ask his team if it's GG soon? Oh, he just says dead. That should be an upside down smiley face. Striker says hold. So Striker's sitting at 115 villagers with goths. Just cleared up the fish uh, from yellow. Losing the sea back again though from uh, against Cena. Which is not good at all. This team isn't really winning anywhere. The Persians have quite a long ways to go. Rock has cavaliers now. But still has to reclaim this land with all this gold and that stone and just needs space at the moment. Has 94 villagers. But yeah, a drift is a drift is pretty dead. Um, has another dock down here, but I don't think he escaped with any villagers. So he might actually have zero villagers soon, assuming this vill... Oh! This vill didn't get killed, and he still doesn't have loom. How is that a thing? He doesn't have loom. Wouldn't make much of a difference at this point, but... Interesting. He still doesn't have loom. Couple villagers trying to escape. He's got two villagers left. There's one over here <laughs> he's running away with. And there's one over here, which he managed to wall in behind a previously built wall. So where is he going to go with this villager? I don't know. However, Rock now has Paladins, and Striker starting to make barracks as Goths. But can Persians and Goths, can they do it, especially with Rock's economy? Like, if you, if you want a Persian to boom up here, he started to make the Elephants already, but they're not even elite. And I bet you if I look at his economy, yeah, he just doesn't have the food for it. Halberdier's already out from Sebdos. He saw that coming. Saw the Cavaliers earlier. Made Halbs to counter that. Um... <laughs> Sad face. Sad face locked. That TC. <laughs> so he has to delete it and run away. And it's a good thing that Cena didn't, uh, didn't see that that building there. Is MBL going to see it? He might. No. He's just going to hide. No. Stone, <laughs> Six pop! <laughs> Exclamation mark. <laughs> He's on the comeback. No. And now the Rams are coming after this villager now too. So, is he gonna... He's gonna go wall it. <laughs> he's gonna wall this no loom villager in. And <laughs> keep her safe. <laughs> he doesn't want to get defeated. <laughs> and he's gonna run away with this vill. <laughs> okay. So we got War Elephants here. Still not elite. And you can see from his resources, doesn't have enough food, even remotely close to get the elite and continue spamming them. Has 100 villagers now. How many farmers? 28. Not enough. Not enough. So he's trying to make another TC. He's walled his villager in. Let's see how that goes for him. Meanwhile, Huskarl's coming out from Striker. Huskarl's obviously very, very good against mines. Won't do that well against Japanese and Teutons. And it looks like on C, he's kind of being pressured um, from Cena once again. And if Cena ends up winning C here, like if he gets cannon galleons in and around this location, uh, that's pretty much GG for Striker. Because this entire Africa 
area, like 90% of it can be ranged uh, with cannon galleons from the sea. Uh, Teutonic Knights now for MBL. Really like that decision. They do decently against the War Elephants. They do pretty well against the Paladins. And they do very, very well against the Huskarls. So if he can mass those, it'd be very nice. He has 118 villagers. So he certainly has the eco to do that. And... Yeah, Striker's not going to be able to get very far against those. I think Striker's focusing on C here. He is going to hold it off for a little while longer. Um, but obviously on land, they're going to have some major issues. Uh, lots of paladins out from rock, but you can see like he just he doesn't have the eco to go for the full upgrades. He's trying to get his uh, war elephants upgraded, but he only has one armor and one attack on his paladins. So I don't know, trouble for him. Lock now coming out. Is he gonna try and re reboom in his homeland? Yes, he's dropping the second TC. The dream is real. Let's see how many uh, how many res or how much res he has. Nothing. He can make a couple towers. So we got husk girls against elite Teutonic knights. Really need to get into some hand, hand cannons. Um, great quick wall there from Sebdos to try and get that castle up with one villager and. Now Rock is going to try and come through and raid Sebdos' economy, but Sebdos already walled off with the two docks and the house is there, so he can't get in. Oh, poor Lock. So a castle coming up from Sebdos <laughs> within range of the TC. <laughs> Everything is just going wrong for a drift at the moment. A drift is locked, by the way, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about. His AKA is locked. No. So if that makes sense. In the middle now. Castle going down. Hand cannons now out for the Persian player. But I think there's just too many Teutonic Knights flooding in now uh, for that to matter. Also on C, Cena is still pressuring. And I think Striker can only hold on for so much longer. Adrift, building a second TC right next to it for added security. Trying to boom his way back up. Striker saying, I think we lost. I think I can agree with that. The hand cannons, just not enough to stop this wave of Teutonic Knights. More castles now coming out from MBLs. Trebs in, take out these archer ranges. Prevent more hand cannons from coming. Meanwhile, on C, Striker has pushed him back again. Yay. More Teutonic Knights coming in. They just keep flooding in. Oh, we were just talking in, about MBL in the chat. They were saying he did better in the last tournament. I agree. <clears throat> I think he's played pretty well, except for last game. Last game, he... Last game was just a mess. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, this is just, this has gotten to the point where it's just going to snowball, and there's really nothing they can do against this. So many Teutonic Knights and Eagles coming out to counter anything they throw against it. The hand cannons are not going to be enough. Rock calling the GG, I tend to agree. But how can he call GG when Locked finally has three TCs going? Finally has the boom. 
Striker's still fighting on water. But this is so over. Two more castles coming out now from MBL. How many TCs? Oh my god, four TCs now for a drift. He's up to 25 villagers. He's almost back in the game. Although his allies are kind of out. By the time his allies are defeated, he'll have a huge eco going here. Yeah, Rock saying it's GG. I agree. It is definitely GG. And it looks like Cena, Sebdos, and MBL have taken this series 3 to 1, and they will be advancing into round 3. Look at the achievements. Striker did a really good job on C, uh, holding off Cena. And you can see that there. That's basically all. Well, all the kills basically come from the sea. All the losses came from those freaking husk girls right into the meat grinder of Teutonic Knights. Imperial Age, adrift, sad face. Never quite got there. Striker with the villager high had a pretty decent boom. Overall, well played. But both teams. And the final score is 3 to 1.